Now that we've discussed how you use breath for relaxation, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how the breath action for singing is a little bit different than that. The breath for singing is different in that you only move around your midsection. You don't move in your chest or around under your armpits here. So it looks like this for when people aren't doing it properly. That's the least effective method of breathing for singing because it gives you the least amount of control over the exhale. So what we use for singing is a lower diaphragmatic breath that involves the rib muscles. In order to do that, your chest has to be comfortably high and quiet throughout the process. When you inhale, you move your stomach muscles and your ribs out to make room inside your lungs for them to fill up with air. So the breath action looks like this. with no movement here. Here's high chest breathing that we should not use. Here's the breath for singing that we should use. That gives you control and energy that doesn't engage any tension in your throat, shoulders, and neck muscles. The high chest breathing gives you a lot of tension and the least amount of control. So that's why we want to use the kind of breath that originates around your waistline. Now we're going to do an exercise together that involves inhaling in one count and exhaling in 16 counts on a hiss, like that. So I'm going to do that with you. One of the important parts of this, again, is that this is quiet and comfortably high throughout the process. When you get to the end of your breath, I don't want to see this squeezing out and pushing down. Even when you're at the very end of your breath, your chest is high. Your belly goes in a little bit on the exhale. The inhale is an expanding here. The exhale moves in a little bit, but this is quiet. Let's try it together. So you can face the mirror, you should face the mirror, and watch yourself to make sure that you're monitoring any excess chest movement or any tension in your neck. So the breath is in on two beats. Exhale, 15. <laughs> and then the inhale again. So you can see that the first time I didn't quite make it all the way through. So one of the things I tried to do is not push very hard with my belly muscles on the exhale. I tried to take a full breath, only expanding around my midsection, and then a firm exhale that doesn't pull in too hard. One of the mistakes that a lot of beginning singers make is that they pull in their abs really hard because they think they're really going to do something that's effortful and they're really trying hard. And although I can appreciate the effort that you're trying to make, it really is a gentle, firm movement in, not a hard pulling. So what we don't want is <sighs> pulling in hard with your abs. We want a gentle, firm movement so you don't push out your air all at once, like I did the first time we did the exhale. <laughs> 